Hey everyone, it is yours truly Sean Hamill and for today's video I will be giving you some tips slash ideas on what to do at home during COVID. Um, these are definitely some troubling times and I kind of just wanted to, you know, pass on my positivity and just talk about ideas to do at home, fun activities, romantic activities, um, just like stuff like that. So whether you, you're, you know, you, whether you're, you're inviting a friend to your place, whether you're inviting a date to your place, whether you, it's, you know, whether you want to include your family, this is for everyone. So I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get on to tip idea. Idea number one. Idea number one. Now this idea is for, this definitely family friendly. You do this with a friend and you can also do this with a date. What is it you may ask? Making pizza. Yes, that's like the most funnest activity you can do. Well, maybe not the funnest, that's not even a word, by the way. Maybe not the, maybe not the funnest idea, but like, it's definitely, it's definitely up there. Making pizza is definitely one of the great ways to just get acquainted with your friends, get acquainted with your date, and just spend time with, you know, family. And it's just, it's just an amazing activity. Making the dough by yourself. Don't like buy, don't buy like pre-made dough. Like, forget that, forget that. We're, we're not, we're not about that, okay? If you're gonna make pizza, you might as well just make the dough as well, right? So, make sure you make the dough, because that's also a fun thing to do. Um, and then another fun thing to do is just add your, to add your toppings. I personally love pepperoni and pineapple. Some people don't like pineapple on pizza. How can you not? How can you not? It's like, it's like sweet and savory at the same time. So, I mean, I just love pineapple, pepperoni, and, and extra cheese. Oh, I love cheese. Um, so yeah, I think that's an amazing, fun activity that you can do with anyone on the spectrum that I just mentioned, like a date, friend, or family, family friendly, family member, whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's that idea. So let's get on to the next idea. Oh yeah, my shirt says, Oui, mon chéri, which means, uh, yes, my love in French. I love, I, I just love graphic sweatshirts. Anyways, enough about that. Now on to idea number two. Now let's say you're making the pizza. It's, it's, it's in the oven, it's baking, it's rising, but you need something to do while it's rising, right? Why not play some games, puzzles, video games, or board games? Um, this is definitely something you can do with friends, uh, and family. Um, I guess you can do this with a date as well. My favorite games are definitely Uno, Jenga, and Connect Four. I love all those games. But whenever like so someone beats me in the game, I always get like so frustrated because I'm like, I thought I was good. I thought I thought I was better than this, but I'm not. Which is so sad. Um, but yeah, I think that is a fun activity. You know, playing playing those games. I haven't played. I mean, I those games are really fun to play. You know, Uno, Connect Four, Jenga. Uh, let's get on idea number three now tell me what is better than karaoke am i right am i right like what's better than singing along singing along to your favorite tunes um karaoke is just one way you can just just really you know take off all the stress take off all whatever you're, whatever you're going through and just sing it out sing it out through a song sing it with your family friends whoever it's just a very fun. It's just very fun. I I love karaoke. Any chance I get, I'm just always singing. Uh, anything that's Broadway, I'm always singing Broadway. Um, I just I just love karaoke. Karaoke. How can you not love karaoke? Whether you have a good voice or a bad voice or whatever, like whatever voice you have, it's just fun to to do. You know, you know, just just singing out loud in front of a screen with lyrics <laughs> um yeah i love like i love singing like you know early 2000s songs you know like you know high school musical and stuff like that you know disney songs because why not why why not bring back that nostalgia right why not bring it back and just sing it in karaoke uh, but yeah karaoke is just definitely something that's fun to do um uh, so that is a pretty good tip i think Let's get on to the next one. So the next idea that we have is 
binge watching shows on Netflix and on um, Disney Plus, Prime Video, whatever, whatever you you, you use, which is probably it's probably mostly Netflix. Um, so yeah, just binge watching shows. Um, I'm currently watching The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part Four. That show is too good, y'all. Like, I just wish they had like a thousand parts of that show. It's just amazing. I don't know. I just, it's just amazing. Whether you're watching, you know, old classic movies on Disney Plus, or whether you're um, binge watching a show on Netflix, that's a fun activity to do. Just being there with, you know, uh, you know, whoever, you know, a loved one, date, a uh, friend, a family member, just binge watching a show that you all can enjoy. That, my friends, is the best thing to do. So yeah, let's go on to the next one. Now this next, this next idea is exclusively for those who are dating. Yeah, just that. <laughs> I was like thinking of something else to say. Um, home picnic, an at-home picnic. Yes, you heard me right, an at-home picnic. Because what's better than having a picnic indoors? Because we don't want to go outside. <laughs> and you probably can't go outside because things are closed off. Your, your city's, city's probably on lockdown. So why not have an at-home picnic? You and a day glass of wine. Don't, don't forget to bring the roses. Don't forget to bring the flowers or roses or whatever. Flowers your significant other likes. But an at-home picnic. Treat it, like, treat it like it's a picnic, you know. Make stuff don't buy stuff make the food and you know just and make sure you have a basket as well you kind of want that visualness as well and you want that aesthetic as well so make sure you have a picnic basket make sure you have a picnic blanket and you know a nice glass of wine <laughs> um because why not right it's very romantic i think because what's better than just sitting at a table discussing life at a restaurant than having an at-home picnic, right? Where y'all can cuddle, look up at the ceiling. I was gonna say the stars, but then realize that there's no stars on the ceiling. <laughs> um, so yeah, an at-home picnic, definitely a romantic idea for those who are trying to find a date out there. Um, so yeah, that's a good idea. So, at-home picnic, because why not? Now let's say you don't want an at-home picnic. You don't want an at-home picnic. You want a nice candlelit dinner. Yes, candlelit dinner. That's probably the most romantic thing you could, well, no, maybe a home picnic is more, more romantic. I don't know, what's more, what's more romantic? Candlelit dinner at home or home picnic at home? Um, I don't know what's more romantic. Anyways, candlelit dinner is another good way to another a good replacement if you don't have like a picnic basket or a blanket or whatever um candle and dinners are definitely a great thing to do it's like being at a restaurant but at your own home because why not right so let's say you know you're you're you're, you're having an amazing, amazing conversation with someone online then you invite them over for a date um because everywhere else is closed um, and it's a dinner. You want to do like a nice candlelit dinner. So just make sure you're dressing up for the occasion. Okay, don't don't be lazy and wear shorts and a t-shirt. We don't want that. We want you to look at your finest. Okay, this is still a date. So, you know, whether you want to be casual, formal and wear a turtleneck, whether you want to be formal and wear a button-up shirt and a my suit jacket to go with it and the pants too okay um <laughs> and what whatever like and that candle of dinner is definitely something that, that's romantic both of you can just discuss stuff across the table i don't know um definitely a good idea out there that you can do so yeah candle of dinner because why not this activity is very fun planting yes planting planting flowers planting i don't know i guess a tree in your backyard I, <laughs> um whatever the case may be 
planting is just a very fun activity to just it's fun okay wh like why why not why not plant right I mean planting is just like like a fun activity to do um if, like I, I've only planted pl I, I planted so I yeah no, that's correct um I've done a lot of, a lot of planting in a uh, elementary school <laughs> Um, I used to have done a lot now. I usually just go buy plants some most of the time. But what like there's there's so much fun in planting, you know, buying the soil, buying the seeds, having water, <laughs> and then pouring the water over the seeds and just just staring at it. You're just like this, you know, the entire time, just like waiting for it to grow. Um, planting is just a very fun fun thing to do. Ooh, it's a definitely the family. It's definitely family friendly. It's definitely just just a great activity to do. So that's that's that tip. Let's go on to the next one. So the next activity is doing a self portrait um, or just doing photography as a hobby. Now I know you're probably stuck indoors 24/7 without nothing to do except for watching binge watching Netflix shows. Um, so why not, if you have a camera, whether it's an iPhone, whether it's a DSLR, whatever the case may be, a digital camera for those, for a, or a, or a, the, the, what are those cameras called again? Disposable camera. Disposable cameras. Um, if you have a camera, take self, you could take self portraits, take, take some self portraits of yourself, you know, feel, feel, you know, feel free in that moment where you can just like take photos of yourself or take photos of just stuff around. Photography is fun, just taking photos of just anything and everything, putting a filter on it, and then just, yeah, that, that's it. Um, it's very fun, very fun, especially doing self-portraits, because, you know, you kind of want to be in that moment, you know, remembering, remembering 2020, one, I, I really forgot we were in 2021, um, as that year that was bad and 2020 as well um but yeah take, taking yourself for yourself to kind of reassure yourself that you know you're in a good place you're or maybe you're not in a good place right now but you will be eventually one day hopefully um so yeah to take doing photography as a hobby whether it's taking photos of yourself um to kind of feel happy you know um or taking photos of just anything around you um it's also another fun thing to do because why not right so yeah photography it's fun you should do it another thing i forgot to mention is that i have a photography, photography page on my instagram so if you want to check out my instagram just uh, click the link down below because i have some uh i think i because like my page is like just full of photography um, mostly portrait photography so if you want to check that out then please do appreciate that so yeah uh link down below my instagram so check that out now, you may be at home, not doing much. I have, an idea, I, have an idea, I have an idea for you, those who are not good with organization. Organize. <laughs> for, um, organize, rearrange furniture, organize your stuff, um, paint. Do something to keep your mind off just being so saddened or so not just not in the moment, you know? Um, Painting is definitely fun, it takes some time, but you know what, in the end it's definitely worth it. Um, re rearranging furniture, maybe seeing, you know, can this, does this look good in this, in this position, like this area of the home, you know, what, what not. Um, and organizing, if you're, not, if you're not a person that likes to organize, why not organize if you're, if you're at home, right? Uh, so organizing is definitely something that uh, you can do. That is, I think it's important as well. And if you're another person that likes to organize, just force yourself to do it. Or just like watch some YouTube videos of people just re doing furniture and just build up some motivation. Um, so yeah. So the next idea I have is a YouTube marathon. Yes, you can be around YouTube marathon. Whether it's binging your favorite YouTubers, binge watching your favorite YouTubers, um, watching a lot of YouTube videos you know maybe even discovering uh, new channels for that matter like me hello I'm Deshaun Hamlet <laughs> welcome to my channel um, uh, so yeah like like 
you know, you you may be you may, you may watch this YouTuber a lot, but you know, maybe, maybe find some new upcoming people, new YouTubers who just started just started their channel. Um, we don't have a lot of subscribers. You know, maybe watch vi their videos and just kind of see um, if you like it or not. Like, you know, because there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, in, in the end, it's all about what you like, you know, what's your favorite type of videos to watch, right? A lot of people are making channels nowadays because of what's going on. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, like, that's a great thing. To so just get your mind out of, like, so much stress and all that jazz and make a YouTube channel and put out videos for everyone to watch because what's wrong with that right there's, there's nothing wrong with that um so yeah maybe just watching some new um creators so yeah that's a good idea i think in my opinion um because i'm new <laughs> uh, so yeah so that's that idea so let's go on to the next one so i know i talked about making pizza but what about baking yes baking and not not those Baking boxes like from like you know Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker. Forget that. Only thing you can use is Pillsbury. <laughs> Cause those those hit different. Those do hit different. When it comes to cake box cakes box cakes, I guess that's what you call them, like Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines. That's that's for the those are I mean, there's nothing wrong with using that. It's just that why not make it from scratch? Right? You have the time. So why not make it from scratch, right? Um, so, you know, go out, find a recipe, make the recipe, and I am telling you right now, you will be so satisfied with your creation, because you know that you made it, and it wasn't from some box telling you to add one egg, add some vegetable oil, and add some water, and bam, you got a cake, without even adding, like, the cocoa powder, or the, what else, what, what else do you do to make a cake mix? I really don't know. I I baked a good cake before, but I just forgot what you put in cake. Anyways, and of course, if you want to bake more often, do it from scratch. That's like the best way you're gonna learn. A spa day, cause why not? A spa day is just a day to relax yourself, um, get some R and Rs, um, unless you've been at home for like the past few months. But this still applies to you. <laughs> this still applies to you. I mean, like, cause why not? I mean, everyone likes to rest and relax you know maybe a spa day can be just soaking in a bath um with your favorite oils that you know smell amazing like eucalyptus Ooh, eucalyptus smells perfect putting on face mask or like you know putting on like you know whatever like having a spa day is just daily just treat yourself and not just that it's also a great day to take, just take care of your skin um taking care of skin is definitely a number one thing that you should be doing um, um, so just make sure you are keeping your skin healthy um so yeah like whether whatever the case may be having a spa spa day is like always just a great day a great day to just um take care of your skin every day should be a spa day is what i'm trying to say <laughs> uh, so let's go on to the next tip next tip is working out slash yoga exercises um during right now with what's going on you're probably not exercising as you used to maybe you never used to exercise but even like going for outside for a walk is still considered an exercise and if you're not doing that then there's something wrong with me because i don't do that which is very unfortunate but what i do to replace that is what i would do well sometimes i don't really do this okay uh, as often but um what you can do is just go on YouTube, search up some workout videos or maybe some yoga videos, whatever floats your boat, and um, do some exercises. Cause why not, right? You need to gain that muscle mass, or if you're not eating as you eat, eating as often as you used to, um, you know, working out. I'm not saying you should substitute that for working out, but like you know, definitely try to get both of them in there. You know, make make yourself some healthy meals and work out um you definitely don't want to be eating drunk food right now especially if you're at home doing nothing because that's just gonna affect your body and you don't want that so make sure you are eating healthy 
make sure you're working you when you're working out whether it's just casual whether it's whether it's jumping jacks like it can be as simple as jumping jacks okay like literally like when i say working i'm not i'm not talking about like doing like a thousand push-ups i'm talking about like being very casual with it um doing some jumping jacks with yoga doing some movements that involve yoga that is all the tips and ideas i have for y'all today so if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up i really appreciate that and if you'd like to please um subscribe for more content i'd also appreciate that as well and as always be your best self stay motivated be happy and also stay safe and i'll see you in the next video hopefully